Can you please help me welcome Paulus as he comes up to the stage? Wow, man, what did you do? You really got the shouts going on. It's good to see you. Thank you so much for coming up here and are willing to share your testimony with everyone here and also with those who will be watching or re-watching us on our live stream. And we believe that it's going to bless a lot of people. Let's start off with your name and where are you from and why are you in Tri-Cities? I'm almost convinced that everybody knows my name in church, but it's Paulus and I'm from Lithuania, which is in Europe. Yeah, and I came as an intern here. And it's a privilege for me to be here and share my testimony, actually. Come on, guys. Let's put our hands together for him being all the way from Lithuania. And um, thank you so much for coming again. Would you please share with us, uh, what was your life like before you met Jesus Christ? Uh, I think I call my testimony as a vic Jesus victory over my life. Because, you know, like, uh, I was, like, raised in a non-Christian family. Uh, I mean, Catholics, but not Christians, actually. And uh, I was uh, born in a small city. And the only, one, uh, the only way to get out of this little city was the good grades and go to the university. So I was a very good student. And I managed to get to the university in Vilnius, in capital. And then the, all the things, the happy things, so-called, came to my life. Uh, like girls, sex, drugs, rock and roll, everything. Uh, you can imagine, like parties, techno music, everything like that. And... And I mean, it didn't take me long to get down on the, on the track. And I was decreasing as a person. My morality went up. My conscious, conscience was like switched, uh, switching off a little bit. And my moral values go down. And I got into depression, of course. And depression, addiction, depression. A uh, lot of girls, Casanova lifestyle. Even though my uh, finances, and I, I managed to set up business. Uh, so I was like, you know, Two poluses, whatever. Like one is like empty, and the other is like socially powerful, uh, money, traveling, and everything like that. But I was lost from inside and empty. Yeah. So, uh, with you, like you mentioned to me that you were searching for truth, and what are the things that you actually dabbled into before coming to Jesus Christ? Would you please tell us about that? And uh, yes, the main reason I actually. Uh, I started to meditate because my friends see this loss in me, this depression. And he said, Paulus, you cannot do it by your own. You need to meditate. And then I started this meditation and I got some really out-of-body experiences and stuff like, like very serious stuff. And I got involved into New Age religion very soon after. I went out of my body. I had this very uh, spiritual, illegal experiences. I realized that there is God, but it was uh, not a true God. And I started to get involved in all these Vedas, uh, all this kind of meditation, yoga, shamanism, tantra, Tao, it, crystals, uh, psychedelics, ayahuasca, everything you can imagine. I was there. And before Jesus, I like two years, I was all radically uh, searching, you know, for the truth and going as an evolution, you know, I, yeah, into enlightenment. So this uh, search for truth and for fulfillment, you were depressed, led you eventually into all of those, those uh, dark things. And would that help you? What, what did you find at the end of the day? Uh, last year I was in my bed after drinking juice, uh, vegetable juice for 35 days. I lost 44 pounds. Uh, on top of that, all the meditation, breathing exercises, yoga, I was like mentally, emotionally, spiritually, uh, in very bad condition and I thought that I would die actually I was I, I couldn't lift the book I was so weak and I was so like depressed and everything and in this bed actually uh, I found one book somehow came to me and it was like a diary of one Christian on old days and it was like a diary of Jesus prayer the power of Jesus prayer Lord Jesus Christ have mercy on me and this this prayer just it popped out from this book and I just the time stopped and I felt like, you know, this supernatural peace. I started to cry and I realized, you know, that's like Jesus is really calling me to step out. And I, I mean, at that time I was hopeless. Come on, you guys. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. Our God is so good in such a dark moment of his life where when he was feeling like about to, you know, die or disappear and... 
Jesus used that little verse of the book to pop out to him and touch him at that moment. So what happened at that moment? Well, I just started, you know, to repent and I just really felt, you know, the, actually every soul understands when its creator comes to it. I mean, I, was, I had all kinds of experiences, blissfulnesses, ecstasies in these new age practices. I experienced everything, you know, every nice feeling, but it was not God. And when the real true God comes to your bed, you really feel it. It's, you cannot, you know, it's incomparable. And the, this shalom, this peace came upon me. And I just like... That is so awesome. Nothing can compare with our God. When the presence of the Holy Spirit comes, there is nothing that can compare with that. Amen. Yes, amen, amen, yes, God is really good and, and yeah, the following four months I started to repent, I was crying, I also experienced all kinds of manifestations, but I pray, was praying for four or five hours a day, this prayer, until I got born again, and then... So wait a second, so since that time, for every day you were praying for five hours, that exact that prayer that came out of that diary right and you were praying and praying what kind of manifestations were you experiencing was it deliverance that took place yeah of course i mean i was like since i was in this yoga kundalini practices i was not free and uh, since you know like pray for one hour you can feel the, you know the you know in body manifestations and no nothing no one could help me from catholic tradition unfortunately so i was looking for truth how to you know set me free and and then I got born again and I met the born again people who helped me to get delivered, full deliverance kind of. And uh, yeah, and God is really good. And, but during these months, I also experienced His grace and His mercy. He showed me all of my sins. I made my sin list like 12 pages. Uh, and uh, yeah, and I got this instant freedom, you know, like I get more and more free. And uh, it's, it was a blessing, you know, to just experience this. Even though, though it was very hard. But it was a blessing to experience this journey. What an amazing, amazing God we serve. Amen. Now, Paulus, with all of this, would you please share with us, how is your life now different uh, after you receive Jesus Christ? It's, you know, I mean, uh, it's 180 degrees different. Uh, now I'm engaged. I'm... Uh, <laughs> I'm not isolated. I love people. My heart is changed. I don't need any practices to make me love people. I don't need any yoga to make me a better person. I have Christ in me who is living in me. And that's more than enough. That's more than enough. Uh, and I mean, all the relationship with my family is getting better. Everything just increasing. And of course, it was hard times. It's not like some kind of uh, rose uh, tinted glasses on me but I mean I, I'm in the season where I'm really blessed to, to be here in America to learn to get grounded in the faith and actually I, I, I don't know just like I'm surrendering to everything what he has to offer so powerful um, a couple more things do you feel like the search for truth and fulfillment has been actually ended for you with meeting Jesus Christ uh, I've read 100 books before Jesus about New Age and occult and not, not, not occult and new, uh, yoga autobi autobiographies didn't give me any satisfaction. I was hungry and hungry and hungry and when I, when I put the Bible for the first time in my life I got satisfaction and nothing can satisfy me, it can satisfy a person nor glory, nor business, nor money, nor girls, nor sex, nor drugs, nor rock and roll, nothing nor even enlightenment can satisfy a person and only Jesus can satisfy a person Woo, hallelujah come on that is so powerful Paulus we are so happy for you and we celebrate what God has done in your life together with you today and we just want to hear your advice to people who might be struggling with some things you've gone through and maybe those that... Okay. Yeah, pastor wants me to ask one question. How did you hear about Hungry Gen Ministry and our internship program? Yeah, that's the... Actually, the, at the same time I met my future wife, I heard about this church. Two, uh, like two, two more than two months ago, I met my Viveta, my girl, which, which we came together here. 
And she mentioned that there's a, this practical Bible school with a supernatural ministry. And I was praying for that. And she was praying for a person to come together. So, you know, everything was like that. And I, I didn't research. I just prayed about it and it happened to be. And I didn't take any time to decide. I just like, let's go. That's awesome. So how do you feel now being here in the internship? How is it impacting you so far? It's been two weeks now. I mean, I had uh, bigger, you know, and I had good expectations, but it, it uh, just overflowed my, my, any expectation I had. I mean, teachers, people love here, and the, and the feeling that the Holy Spirit is really boss here. It's like whatever I need is the like Come on, Holy Spirit is the boss here. Woo! That is so awesome. Thank you so much for sharing. And lastly, would you please share a word of advice to people who might be uh, searching for truth or dumbling into different kind of uh, teachings and that are not from Jesus Christ? What would you tell them? Uh, I would tell them that, you know, I was a sensitive person. And I was going after my heart. But I didn't know at that time that you cannot trust your heart. And actually, New Age is teaching to trust your heart. But when I trusted my heart in my life, it went to all kinds of sins. So I suggest people to trust the Word of God and not your heart. Yeah. Come on. Let's put our hands together one more time. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you so much. We appreciate you sharing your testimony. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, wasn't that powerful? Nothing gets better when you hear how God changes people's lives and how he brings them to his to himself to his presence and how the life the, the life when when it was empty now is satisfied when it was going straight to hell and living in hell on earth now is with the lord jesus christ amen